Amazon Jungle. The Amazon biome, which includes the majority of South America's Amazon basin, is home to a moist broadleaf tropical rainforest known as the Amazon rainforest, also known as the Amazon jungle, or Amazonia. There are 7 million square kilometers in this basin, of which 5,500,000 square kilometers are covered with rainforest. There are 3,344 officially recognized indigenous areas in this area, which is home to nine nations' territory. Brazil contains 60% of the world's rainforest, followed by Peru with 13%, Colombia with 10%, and, to a lesser extent, by French Guiana, Bolivia, Ecuador, Guyana, Suriname, and Venezuela. Four countries refer to one of their first-level administrative regions as Amazonas, and France refers to its rainforest-protected area as the Guiana Amazonian Park. With an estimated 390 billion individual trees separated into 16,000 species, the Amazon represents more than half of the planet's remaining rainforests and is the largest and most biodiverse tract of tropical rainforest in the world. The Amazon is home to more than 30 million people from 350 distinct ethnic groups, and it is divided into 3,344 officially recognized indigenous areas and nine separate national political systems. 60 of the indigenous communities still live in isolation and make approximately 9% of the population. The Amazon basin is shared by nine nations, but Brazil's boundaries contain the majority of the rainforest, at 58.4%. The remaining eight nations are Peru, 12.8%, Bolivia, 7.7%, Colombia, 7.1%, Venezuela, 6.1%, Guyana, 3.1%, Suriname, 2.5%, French Guiana, 1.4%, and Ecuador, 1%. Natural. The Eocene epoch is most likely when the rainforest was developed, from 56 million years to 33.9 million years ago. It emerged when the Atlantic Ocean had broadened enough to give the Amazon basin a warm, humid climate, following a global drop in tropical temperatures. Since the beginning of the present ice age, when the temperature was drier and the savanna was more prevalent, the rainforest has existed for at least 55 million years. Most of the area has stayed free of savanna-type biomes since then. The loss of the dinosaurs and the subsequent wetter environment may have encouraged the tropical rainforest to expand throughout the continent after the Cretaceous-Paleogene extinction event. The rainforest covered a region as far south as 45 degrees between 66 and 34 Maya. Savannah regions have been able to reach the tropics thanks to climate changes during the past 34 million years. For instance, the rainforest only covered a relatively small area during the Oligocene. When the last glacial maximum occurred, it contracted to a formation that was primarily inland until expanding once more during the Middle Miocene. A wide variety of animals were able to survive and evolve during these glacial eras because the rainforest continued to flourish. It is thought that the Purus Arch divided the continent in half during the Mediocene, dividing the Amazon drainage basin. Across the Amazonas basin, the water on the eastern side flowed into the Atlantic while the water on the western side flowed toward the Pacific. But when the Andes Mountains grew, a sizable basin, now referred to as the Solomons Basin, was formed that encircled a lake. This water had been building up for the last 5 to 10 million years and it finally breached the Purus Arch and joined the easterly flow toward the Atlantic. There is proof that the last glacial maximum and subsequent deglaciation during the past 21,000 years have caused dramatic changes in the vegetation of the Amazon rainforest. When compared to today, rainfall in the Amazon basin during the last glacial maximum was lower, and this was almost certainly due to a reduction in the amount of moist tropical vegetation cover in the basin, according to analyses of sediment deposits from Paleolakes and the Amazon fan. Currently, the Amazon receives roughly 9 feet of rain every year. However, there is disagreement over the extent of this decline. Some experts argue that the rainforest was reduced to sparse, isolated refugia divided by expanses of open woodland and grassland, 
while others contend that the rainforest remained substantially intact but had a smaller range than it does now to the north, south, and east. Given that data sampling is biased away from the center of the Amazon basin due to the practical difficulties of working in the rainforest, and given that both theories are relatively well supported by the data currently available, this debate has been challenging to resolve. Human Activity Human settlers initially arrived in the Amazon region at least 11,200 years ago, according to archaeological data discovered during an excavation at Caverna de Pedra Pintada. By AD 1250, further development had brought late prehistoric communities to the forest's edge, which had changed the forest's cover. It was long believed that the Amazon rainforest was never more than thinly populated since the poor soil made it impossible to feed a big population through agriculture. This theory was widely supported by archaeologist Betty Meggers, according to her book Amazonia, Man and Culture in a Counterfeit Paradise. According to her, hunting can only support a maximum population density of 0.2 people per square kilometer in the rainforest, in order to support a greater population, agriculture is required. Recent anthropological research, however, indicates that the area was actually heavily populated. In the Amazon basin in AD 1500, there may have been 5 million people living in dense coastal villages like Marajo and inland communities. Population fell from 1 million in 1900 to less than 200,000 in the early 1980s. In 1542, Francisco de Orellana became the first European to travel the whole length of the Amazon River. The BBC's Unnatural Histories offers proof that Orellana was accurate in his findings that a sophisticated civilization was flourishing along the Amazon in the 1540s, as opposed to exaggerating his assertions as was previously believed. It is said that illnesses imported from Europe, including smallpox, later wreaked havoc on society. Early in the 20th century, the British adventurer Percy Fawcett studied this civilization. His missions yielded conflicting results, and on his final journey, he inexplicably vanished. He called this vanished culture the City of Z. Numerous geoglyphs dating from AD 1 to 1250 have been found on deforested terrain since the 1970s, supporting theories concerning pre-Columbian civilizations. The geoglyphs were found for the first time by Andimar Diaz in 1977, and Alsa Ramsey expanded on the discovery after flying above Acre. The BBC's Unnatural Histories provided proof that, rather than being a pure wilderness, the Amazon rainforest has been changed by man for at least 11,000 years through techniques like terra preta and forest gardening. Large swaths of the Amazon rainforest are covered in terra preta, which is now generally recognized as the result of indigenous soil management. Large areas of the Amazon rainforest are likely the product of millennia of human control, rather than naturally occurring as has traditionally been assumed, because the creation of this fertile soil allowed agriculture and silviculture in the formerly inhospitable environment. Remains of several of these sizable towns in the heart of the Amazon forest were discovered in the Xingu tribes area in 2003 by Michael Heckenberger and colleagues from the University of Florida. These included signs indicating highways, bridges, and big plazas. Biodiversity, Flora and Fauna The biome with the highest species diversity is wet tropical forests, and the Americas consistently have tropical forests with higher species diversity than wet tropical forests in Africa and Asia. The Amazonian rainforests, which make up the biggest area of tropical rainforest in the Americas, are incredibly diverse. The Amazon rainforest is home to one in ten of the world's known species. The world's largest collection of species of living plants and animals can be found here. There are over 2.5 million insect species in the area, tens of thousands of plant species, and about 2,000 different kinds of birds and mammals. To far, the area has been home to at least 40,000 plant species, 2,200 fish species, 1,294 bird species, 427 mammals, 428 amphibians, and 378 reptiles. The Amazon rainforest is home to one in five of the world's bird species, and its rivers and streams are also home to one in five of the world's fish species. 
between 96,660 and 128,843 invertebrate species have been described by scientists in Brazil alone. One 2001 study found that a quarter square kilometer, 62 acres, of Ecuadorian rainforest contains more than 1,100 tree species, making it the planet with the largest richness of plant species. According to a 1999 study, the Amazon rainforest can support up to 90,790 tons of living plants per square kilometer, 247 acres. 35647 tons of plant biomass are thought to be present on average per hectare. Estimates put the number of economically and socially significant plant species in the area at 438,000, with many more yet to be found or catalogued. There are 16,000 different species of trees in the area, according to estimates. Seasonal variations affect the green leaf area of plants and trees in the rainforest, which fluctuates by roughly 25%. When sunlight is at its strongest during the dry season, leaves expand, during the cloudy rainy season, they abscess. These modifications offer a carbon balance between photosynthesis and respiration. Numerous dangerous creatures can be found in the rainforest. The black caiman, jaguar, cougar, and anaconda are some of the biggest predatory animals. In the river, electric eels can provide an electric shock that can either kill or stun a person, while piranhas have a reputation for biting and harming people. Poison dart frogs of many species release toxic lipophilic alkaloid substances through their flesh. Additionally, there are many of parasites and disease carriers. The rabies virus can be carried by vampire bats, which live in the jungle. The Amazon region is also prone to dengue disease, yellow fever, and malaria. The loss of habitat from deforestation and an increase in the frequency of fires are the main threats to the biodiversity of the Amazon, which is under threat. Fires may have had some effect on almost 90% of the 13,000 to 14,000 plant and animal species in the Amazon. Thank you for watching. View more our channel videos.